Hi, my name is Sam. Hey, hi, hey, howdy. My name is Sam Garfield. Uh, today we are gonna set up from scratch a two camera live streaming setup on our mobile streaming cart here at Salton Studios. We have Jeremy and Laura uh, who are going to be sure I'm talking about what I'm doing. So come with us. Uh, this is a bedroom set over here, one of a bedroom set that we're working on. Total, uh, totally not my bedroom. So we're gonna take this card out of here. Christy's card. Hi everybody, I'm Christy, I'm a producer. I also work as a production designer for film and television professionally. So one of the things you wanna do if you are in this kind of environment is you wanna set the key points in the frame first so that your camera crew can continue to work around you while you add details. So we have our three chairs right now which are our key points. Um, and then I'm gonna add in plants and lamps and things after that. But by setting the chairs first, it allows the camera team to keep working independently. So we all work better when we work better together. Hi. Hi. Hi, I'm Sam. We're gonna bring this just- Somewhere where we can all see it. How about right here? The first thing that we wanna do here is get everything plugged in. Down in the bin here, is a really big uh, backup power system. And we want everything on the cart plugged into this. This also conditions the power. So let's find an extension cord and get some power to this station. That's called a... Uh, I call it a three-way, but... This is called a three-way. That's Christy, everybody. Okay, so yeah, here's the plug to the power conditioner. And we have power, baby. Oh, you hear that sound? That's power. Does that provide backup if the power goes out or if someone were to kick out the plug during a production? Yes, that will keep us alive. Not for long, but it'll keep us alive long enough to figure out how to fix whatever the problem is, hopefully. So next step is, well, we kind of need a computer to stream this stuff. So let's go find a computer. Where is it? Here it is. This is an MSI GS75 laptop with an RTX 2080 graphics card in it. This is the brains of the operation. Uh, MSI isn't sponsoring this video, but we would love if they did want to sponsor this video. We need to start plugging everything into this computer. The monitor is a USB-C cable. We'll plug that right in there. Yep. This is just a USB, USB breakout, USB 3.0 breakout that most of, of a lot of things are plugged into. Just need to find that and plug that in probably huh, 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 on this side. And this is going to, what's plugged in here right now? The keyboard and this uh, Ableton launch pad, which we use for triggering sound effects and uh, laugh tracks because um, it's good to feel good about your funny jokes. Uh, and then the other USB is going into the Zoom F4. We do all the audio through the single um, audio interface because if you put everything in through the same device it'll all be on the same latency and if you put things in on multiple devices audio things through multiple devices you're going to start running into start echo, running. Issues. echo issues next the atem this is the camera switcher here we have the power cable which is a screw in safe power cable um, it, network control you can control this over the network uh, with it by plugging in a network cable um, then a USB-C connection here, which goes into the computer. And then on the computer, the ATEM, it just shows up as a webcam, like any other webcam, nothing special. And this is the one thing that I plug directly into the computer. I just, putting things through, through the hub, I try, to, I try to keep the most important things through as little adapters as possible. So this is the camera. Also on the back of the ATEM, we have four channels here that are inputs from four cameras and then an HDMI out. Here's the computer on, here's the on button. Let's try that. Normally I have a preview monitor set up right here. Right now that monitor is on top of the camera that's being used to film. The other monitor here is a monitor slash recorder. This one is hooked into the computer via HDMI and then it's treated as another monitor. So this has now two external monitors set up to it. And the nice thing about this guy is it has a pass through. You can use the HDMI out to loop the HDMI out to the TV uh, so that the 
people being filmed can also monitor the stream. So I run that output to the TV over here. So the first thing let's do, let's get a camera set up. Hey, here's a camera. Here's a camera. Here's power for that camera. That's fun. This one requires a mini HDMI adapter. Yeah, right there. We're gonna plug this guy in here. That'll be our B cam. So let's plug this into channel two. And channel two, baby. Now we're cooking with gas. Uh, one thing I've been harping on about is the fragility of the micro USB, the micro HDMI standard. It's a terrible design. It's very weak. These adapters break like crazy. So just to be extra safe, I tape the cable down here so there's not tension on it. This HDMI is gonna be our A cam. Plug it in, plug it in, copyright infringement. Okay, we've got two cameras now um, plugged in to the ATEM. The ATEM is plugged into the computer as well as the audio interface. The first thing we need to do is turn on the audio interface. The power button's in the bottom right. By default, the F4 is not talking to the computer. So to get it to talk to the computer, you hit the menu button. You use this top knob to scroll to USB. You push on that knob to select that. You select audio interface. And then you have choices here of what kind of device you're connecting to and what type of connection you wanna have, multi-track or stereo. We're gonna do a stereo mix. And there you are. Now you're in USB audio interface mode. Uh, these are the four primary channels you'll use. Here are your levels. You can adjust as needed. And then to enable the channel, you just hit the one through four buttons and the red light means the channel is on. No light means the channel is off. And you'll see level meters here on these lights when people are talking. The audio inputs are here on the side. These are the mic microphone packs. This is the one with the screen is the receiver and the one with not the screen, is the transmitter or the microphone. It also has the microphone on top. So this goes to the person, like I'm wearing one right now. And then this gets plugged in here. Rode isn't sponsoring this video, but they could be. I'm smiling underneath this. So let's get, let's dig into the computer. Yeah. So the first, so first app we're gonna open is OBS Studio. Here's OBS. If you are dragging around, this uses um, a Microsoft Power Tools utility called Fancy Zones. And when you're dragging around, if you hold the shift button, you'll get these zones. And when you drop the window into those zones, it'll snap so you can have three windows up here. We're gonna be streaming to Restream, which then breaks up the broadcast and streams it to all of the different sources. Uh, join our Discord, join our Discord. Join our, hey, I'm Sam. Join our Discord. Hashtag Sultan Studios. I don't know how you get to it. Look, look in the, look in the, hi, I'm Sam. Look in the video description for our Discord channel and join it right now, or don't. Yeah, on the Restream panel, you're going to, it's gonna show you a preview of your stream here uh, and on the right. And then on the left, you have sources that you can toggle on and off. So right now, let's do a little test stream. So let's stream to Periscope because nobody watches that. Over in OBS, in our settings, in the stream section, you wanna make sure you are connected to the restream service. And as long as that is the case, then as soon as you hit start streaming, you'll see the browser pops up, the video is now being pushed out to the restream service, and you'll see Periscope pop up as online here. And now we have our cameras. But when I hit two, pretend you're seeing that other monitor. And then if I hit cut, it's gonna to cut to that other camera. And then it's gonna reverse these roles. So all I have to do to switch back is hit cut again. There's also the auto button, which will do a fade. We can do a deeper dive into OBS maybe in another video. The basic thing is studio mode will give you two screens, one which is a preview and one which is live. And this will allow you to queue up your next scene. And then you can use this transition button to, tra to transition. I think that about wraps it up. That's how you do a stream. Of course, we can delve more into the audio specifically in another, in another video. We can dig more into the ATEM. Uh, let me know what you wanna see. Let us know what you wanna see. All right, everyone, 
that's the basics to getting set up for a live stream at Salton Studios. We are a community run public access television studio where people who come participate and help us produce and learn how to produce, gain those skills and also gain ownership of the properties that they work on. We invite you to like and subscribe uh, to our channels. Check us out on our social media, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, etc. under Salton Studios and stay tuned for what's next. We're doing a lot of exciting stuff, so we can't wait and we'll see you soon. Bye.